What's going on YouTube? It's the Lee Ace. We live action. You already know what it is. I'm coming back at you with yet another video request. And this video request is from none other, uh, Lamar Taylor 2K12. And he puts, yo, what's up, Elite Ace? Do you personally feel that the people in the YouTube anime community take scans delivered weekly to us for granted? For example, I understand someone being critically, um, being a critically reviewer and saying that they didn't like the chapter or chapters for some reason whether it is valid reason or not but do you get annoyed when someone would constantly bash the series and keep constantly saying he is a bad writer etc etc now i realize that getting these manga skins are illegal and i live in the uk so if all the manga sites are taken down i'm basically fucked now i have seen the video you've made to phone but it gives me this aggravated feeling because these people act like these scans are owed to them when they don't even pay for a subscription to the Shonen Jump magazine. Do you really appreciate your manga every week, regardless if you thought it was okay, terrible, or good, for free? And do you think some people act like the free weekly chapters are owed to them rather than being lucky than we have these manga sites that translate them into English? P.S. I've already sent this request about this video to j -Zone, but I wanted to know your thoughts. All right, Lamar, thanks for that. Um, I'll send you a request, but, you know, this is a topic that has been discussed and talked about um, for many years now. Because you do have, for first of all, I do, I do agree with you, and uh, because I know it aggravates you as well. But yes, this is something that's been going on for years because... Manga Stream, Manga Here, Manga Fox, Manga Panda, all those manga sites that put up these animes, I mean these mangas, illegally. And they've been going on for years. They've been around for years. And like you said, you've seen my video towards the phone. And yes, one of the things I did say in that video was, you know, you're watching it for free. You know, you're, you know, you're bitching about it. And my thing is, I yes... Say you can say I'm fairly new to the whole reviewing manga weekly um, weekly chapters on YouTube, but if you look at all of my reviews, I've never complained about any of the chapters. Now, before you elite haters and smartasses say, "Oh, that's because you're a Bleach fanboy," gobble gobble gobble. No, nah, it ain't like that. You know, you can, you can throw that out the window. What it is is that you have to. You can't just really be just blind to the whole thing, you know. Say if, you know, you gotta look at it on the outside looking in. I'll say, what, if the, what if the script was flipped? You're the manga writer. Every week, every week, you busting your ass. You just in your studio or at your desk, you know, drawing, writing, thinking of plot points or ways to, even if you have the story planned out, you gotta think of ways to to put it, to put it in uh, these 19 pages every week to where it'll all fit and make sense. You gotta think, okay, is he gonna say, you may have it all planned out, but to each and every bit of dialogue, you gotta make that fit, make that fit. All the hard work, you know, I work with the anime crew who does the anime, and then you fit, you find out there are millions, if not, if not millions, maybe thousands of people reading your stuff for free. Now, my thing is, Yes, I read it for free, obviously, but at the same time, yes, I do support the anime industry. Now, for the ones, now this goes out to all of the man manga and um, anime reviewers on YouTube, all of them, the ones who stay consistent and the ones who don't. And the ones who don't are the ones who just only come out with a review when something big happens. In a, in, a, in the story, and then you go to their channel and be like, damn, where's the the last six chapter be like, you know, but this goes out to the consistent reviewers and not cons non consistent reviewers. You, you know good and damn well, you will feel sour, hurt, frustrated, or disappointed, or sad if you didn't have no access to that very same material that you were complaining and bitching about. That goes to all y'all. I mean, you, uh, The Phone, King of Lightning, Bunkai 922, Tekken 101, Catch Kid of Kid, whatever. And I ain't calling you out to bash on you. But what I'm saying is, all of you 
the ones who I name, you all review them weekly at a very uh, consistent pace. And we know Phone bitches the most. He bitches about Bleach the most. And I've been told he bitches about Naruto. Um, there were times, King of Lightning, he had his moments. Uh, Techie 101, not not so much. You know, he may make his little joke, you know, his little shonen cliches, but that's nothing. Uh, Catch Could a Kid, from my knowledge, not so much. But Bunkai 922, um, a few chapters here and there he did it. But I would love to see, you, you know, everyone's faces. You know, even the ones that's even not on YouTube. The ones in the comment section, bitching and went all on the forum site, Facebook, Google+. Plus. Everybody, I would love to see your faces or your thoughts. When you go Wednesday to read that chapter, and that website has a skull and crossbone on it, say due to legal issues, Manga Fox is no longer here, Manga Stream is no longer here, Manga Panda is no longer here, all of that. How do you feel? You know what that means? You will get this sinking in feeling like, oh my God, I left off on chapter, uh, let's see, uh, 629. Now I'm gonna never know what's gonna happen. Until it catches up all the way over here until miracle. Or unless you want to do it the the weak way, go on Wikipedia. Or try to do some kind of crazy, crazy networking. Hook up with make a friend with somebody over in Japan and have him see if he can take this uh the, the actual chapters and, and scan them and translate them and all this and send them to you, all that bull crap. But I found this so funny. When a Bleach anime ended, or well, so supposedly ended, you know, I think for the ones who put made videos or act like they didn't care, they were just putting up a front, you know, because because number one, this is proof positive they're putting up a front. The one who act like oh it's nothing, oh it failed, you know, it got canceled because of low rankings and scores and all that stuff. But the one saying oh well that's it, oh well no more Bleach. No, that's not the case because when it comes back. They're gonna, the motivator is going to be the first ones watching it and then reviewing the episodes at that. You know it. And what, what I don't take it for granted. You know, I do understand, like I said, it is illegal. Um, of course, you go to my channel, you see the numerous amounts of, um, you see my, um, the Bleach collection I have. Of course, you have all yet to see my anime collection, period. I do support, and I know for the ones who bitch about it, that's their defense. Oh, but I support it, though. Oh, so I support it. So does that fully make it right? And, and you know, like, is it, it makes it justifiable for you to just still read it for free and complain about it? I mean, it, it's, it's kind of ass backwards. All right, this is what I'm saying. Just think about this, elite. You're complaining about something for free. Now, I can clearly understand if you paid money for something, you went out, burned some gas, drove to the place, hopped on a bus, whatever, or you uh, got off internet and got off, you know, online, had to wait for it to get shipped, paying for shipping and handling. You're so anticipated, you're hyped about it. But yeah, then when you get it, you're like, what? I paid money for this. But see, you're not... See, you, you just, you shouldn't complain about something you get for free. My brother, at one point, he had this off-brand, like, small wall monitor. I mean, wall HDTV. Wall monitor, wall monitor HDTV on his wall. Came over one day. I'm like, damn it, what happened? It, it was off the wall. He said, oh, well, it broke. He just said so nonchalant. I'm like, okay. I'm like, dang, I know. I said, dang, how much money was that? I know, I'd be pissed off. You got to get another one. He was like, yeah, it is messed up, but... I got it for free, so, and that's why he wasn't really sweating it, if you want to use that as an example. But I do, uh, but to, yeah, to answer your question, I do appreciate it every week. Um, yes, I do support Bleach, and I do believe in supporting the anime industry, especially here in America, because, you know, it, it's crazy. It's It really is. I mean, and with the way the economy is and the way these retail, re, the way these retailers are pricing these retail anime, that is turning people away from purchasing 
a lot of anime. So your best bet is probably to get it offline. Or if you just rolling in dough like that, hey, by all means, pick it up from Best Buy, Walmart, Target, wherever you get your retail anime from. But the fact of the matter is, you're supporting it. But if the ones who actually complain about something, you know, for example, for all of you, and motivators don't even, man, don't even act like it. For all of you who were complaining, crying, whining, and bitching about the Fullbring art, I bet money, man, I was... <laughs> I would just love to see your reactions at the end of the full brain arc. You'd be, oh man, it's about to go into the next arc. You go on to this website, you pretty much you've been cut off. Access denied. Denied entry. That means imagine this very second. You have not known what's going on in the world of Bleach or Naruto or One Piece or any other mangas you read that's still going on. Your only option would probably be, like I said, go to Wikipedia. The One Piece Wikipedia, or the Bleach Wikipedia, or Naruto Wikipedia, and see that. So, you know, to see the, um, the uh, current updates of the story, or the characters, and the plot, everything. So, just uh, take that into consideration. But, I, I know, like I said, but me, I'm a different type of reviewer. I will say that, you know, there are things in this chapter that I may not like, but I never say that. Oh, this person's a bad writer. Y'all all know how I feel about One Piece. Y'all all know. But I've never said not once, Oda is a bad writer. I've never said it. I'm down with Bleach more than Naruto. Um, I never said that guy's a bad writer. You know? These guys, this is how they, um, they make a living. This is their talent. They love doing it. You know, they love making people happy. They love um, doing it. That's what makes them happy. So... The messed up thing is it's not going to stop. It's going to continue. People are still going to read this for free. And for the ones who review it on YouTube, they're still going to probably find something to bitch about. And speaking of which, it's funny how there was really no complaints with the anime version of the Full of Bring art. But anyway, so, yeah, that's my whole thoughts on it. Uh, Lamar, I hope you like this video. But, yeah, I, I, I do believe as One Piece goes on, Naruto and Bleach, people are still really bitch about it. You rarely see any bitching about um about One Piece, but let it be Bleach or Naruto. Yeah, it it'll come down like a hailstorm, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, Lamar, hope you like this video request. Uh, for all the ones who didn't send it, hey, I hope you enjoyed it as well. And don't worry if you think yours is not coming. Trust me, it is coming. All right, signing out.